So starting things off today, UNL Cow-Calf Specialist Casey McCarthy says thinking about how you're going to manage your bulls through the winter is important so they can be prepared for the next breeding season. Writing for UNL's December Beef Watch newsletter, she offers some ways proper nutrition and cold weather management factor into your cattle operations profitability. Market Journal's Bill Dodd spoke with her and has more. Bulls are a tremendous investment for cattle producers. When making considerations about your bull battery, winter preparedness is essential. Between nutritional needs, cold weather management, and prepping for the following breeding season, there's a lot to manage when it comes to keeping your bulls in optimal breeding condition during the winter months. Yeah, so when we think about bulls in our bull battery, uh, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is making sure that these guys are ready for the breeding season and then not forgetting about these guys at the end of the breeding season. So when you look at some survey data across the U.S., roughly uh, 87 to 90% operations utilize bulls as natural service breeding. And so these guys are a large investment for operations and for producers. And so we, we need to make sure that these guys are ready to breed. So they are satisfactory breeders in terms of our breeding soundness exams. They're in uh, a good condition moving into and out of the breeding season. And then these guys can cover a lot of ground and be able to cover a lot of females depending on the, the bull to cow ratio that we're thinking about for, for our breeding season and operations. Weight loss for bulls during the breeding season is inevitable. Furthermore, if you're dealing with bulls that haven't reached full maturity, you may discover they will lose a higher amount of weight by the end of the breeding season. Bulls can lose anywhere from 100 to 200 pounds, if not more. Uh, and a lot of that depends on the age of those bulls, uh, workload. And so when we think about our bull to cow ratios, usually we try, try and target a 1 to 25 uh, bull to cow ratio. Uh, but these bulls are having to cover a lot of ground, so there's increased activity. Uh, these guys are working. This is their kind of, you know, on season. Off season is a little different when these bulls are uh, during breeding season. These guys need to be able to to cover some ground, cover females. And so they're, they're working hard. Uh, and so we see our younger bulls that they might be losing more weight during the breeding season than some of our mature bulls, uh, but we do lose one to two body condition uh, on those bulls during the working season. Just as you would want to maintain the body condition score of your cow herd, maintaining a healthy BCS in your bulls into and throughout the winter will have a great impact on their reproductive prowess. So when we think about body condition of our bulls through the breeding season, we usually try and target anywhere from a five to a six. Now, if those bulls have lost condition, we need to make sure that we can get that, that weight back on those bulls prior to that next breeding season. If these bulls um, need to gain some weight, then we can look at how we're feeding them over that winter time point to, to get them back up into an, an adequate condition of five or six. And so when we think about monitoring condition, uh, a, a big part of why we want to do that is make sure that these bulls, um, if they're losing some of that energy during the winter due to, to cold, um, they can maintain that body weight uh, for an extended period of time. Uh, they're not having to, to use a lot of energy um, you know, prior to that breeding season. Uh, when we think about condition, uh, heavier bulls, uh, th there can be impacts on, on fertility and, um, and semen production, and so being able to keep them in that moderate condition will be important. When it comes to maintaining a suitable body condition score for your bulls, the biggest concern you should take into account are nutritional needs and cold weather management. When we evaluate those bulls coming out of the breeding season, they might have lost some weight. And so ultimately, if we can take a look at what forage resources we have, where these bulls are going. So are they going back in a pen? Do we have uh, pasture for these bulls to, to winter in? Uh, and so then we can gauge, you know, what forage resources we have available, maybe if it is in the pasture, or if maybe we need to supplement a hay, or if those bulls uh, maybe lost quite a bit of weight, maybe are a little thinner, or some of our younger bulls. Uh, this is a great opportunity to add uh, a, an energy and protein source such as a distillers or maybe um, doing a mixed ration with some silage and hay. 
But then it's also important to think about a mineral program in the winter. And so uh, some of those important minerals we'll be thinking about would be uh, our, our selenium, which is really important for sperm integrity. And, and then also thinking about copper, zinc, uh, those are also really important in terms of semen characteristics and motility. Uh, and then also thinking about maybe some iodine or some of our uh, vitamins like vitamin A, if those bulls are on uh, a, a dormant forage, uh, those will all be important to consider. Uh, also thinking about keeping those bulls off of the frozen ground will be really important so we're not impacting any, any frostbite to those scrotums, uh, which ultimately impacts fertility in the end. And so if we can provide some type of straw or clean, uh, clean ground uh, for those bulls during the winter, that'll be really important to, to help maintain condition uh, and due to any loss due to the cold. As you go through the winter months, if you make sure to provide ample protection and bedding for your bulls, as well as optimize nutrition to ensure they can gain back a healthy amount of weight, then your bulls should come through the winter with flying colors. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Bill Dodd.